Hey, hello there. In this clip, we will talk about how to solve a conflict of interests. I call it a unique conflict, and some people call it double minded as well. It means you have two things you want to do at the same time, or you want to have at the same time. And losing even one option, you know, in, uh, in your mind, what really frustrates you or irritates you. So how to have both of them? Usually you sit there, uh, for example, you sit in the office, you're thinking, so hey, should I accomplish a piece of work which is really important to me? Or should I go home and spend time with my family and seeing my kids before they fall asleep? So what happens usually? If you really tell the truth, you sit there and you're thinking back and forth, you have a lot of discussion and conversation within your mind, and usually what happens is you don't do any of these two things. So all these two are gone and you are you know, quite done as well after this. So the good message is you don't have to um, continue with that. I have a solution for you. The first step for that is just find out which options we are actually talking about. Make it really clear and precise. For example, the option is to finish this XYZ work and um, the other one is spending time with my family, with my kid or kids uh, wife, husband, whatsoever. These are two options, okay? Make it clear and precise. Second step then is find out what would be good if you would go for it. Make a list. Take one option, finish this. List whatever is good for you if you would do it and then um, take the other one. So go for the second option, list all of that. What would be really good for you if you would do it? Okay? And then Put these two parts and let them accept each other. Acceptance in terms of, hey, both of them are really important. One is the same portion as the other one. And then let them find a solution. Usually it's quite easy. So it's, uh, it sounds maybe very complicated or undoable or fantasizing, but it's actually very easy. In case, just in case, which I don't think so, but in case it's not working out, it don't find some more solution which works, ask the part of creativity, your creativity to join this party of discussion. Creativity is whenever you have been really creative once in your life, can be, you know, regarding everything, anything, doesn't matter. So this part is the creative part and you ask this creative part to come in this game and let them find a solution. For example, to be with my example, um, you sit in the office, so the solution could be 30 minutes spending time, focused, concentrated on this piece of work, and then, finished or not, you go home, you spend time with your family, for example, one hour, and then afterwards, for another 30 minutes, concentrated, focused work, uh, and finish it, hopefully. Otherwise, maybe then the next day. So this could be a solution. Before you start in taking action, the third step would be then thinking about this through. Just think, without starting, think about that you would do it until you finish this task. And while going through this, just check um, if there are any objections from any part. If yes, take them serious and go back to this uh, part two. So let them find a different solution which is even more beneficial. If there is no, really zero objection, go for it, even better. So this is a very powerful technique I um, explained you. And whenever you need it, use it. It will take some patience and time and training of course, but when you invest this five or 10 minutes it will calm down to a decrease uh, to, let's say maybe two, three minutes, or sometimes within a snip. The first and important step is really to find out you are somehow in your inner conflict. This is number one, that you're not continuing in, in that state, in this mode. So, also give this technique to somebody who can really use it, who would be really, you know, thankful for this. And um, I wish you a very, enjoyment of this even more inner balance. I'm curious, so send me your feedback. I would love to have your feedback or maybe also your questions. Take care. Bye.